Hello, Dre. Or as you may call yourself currently, Daniel, I am the ghost of you from ten years from now. To come back to warn you about ten things you must do differently in your life, lest you become like me. Just kidding, though. Seriously, I'm I'm a, I'm just a alive and normal and so forth, but I really am just doing this thing right now where s me and some friends are talking to ourselves from ten, 10 years ago and trying to just give ourselves a little bit of tips to, you know, make things a little bit easier for you. So, hey, number one, you're not going to like this one, but be honest with your parents. I mean, seriously, you're going through a bunch of garbage that you're just trying to hide in this past and you really don't want anyone to know about, but just be honest with your parents. It'll save yourself a lot of trouble later. Number two, listen to our mom. Yes, yes, I know, I know. You're going through the whole teenager thing. It happens and you're like to love it and really hate, hate your mom and your dad right now and so forth. I know, I know, I've been there, but listen to our mom. She knows what she's talking about, for Pete's sake. She's, she will eventually become your best friend. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I'll, st I'll, I'll stop traumatizing you now, but you'll learn to love it later. <laughs> Number three, quit your addictions except for RuneScape. You know what they are. I'm not going to embarrass you or myself by listing them on the internet like I'm talking on right now, okay? Besides, the RuneScape part, you end up saving quite a few people from committing suicide, so major poundage there, bro. Number four, stop wearing overalls. I know, I know, you don't want to be a farmer anymore, you just find it to be comfortable, but you and I both know overalls leave to big wedgies, and you know, you get some of the biggest wedgies in the world since you're pretty much a toothpick. In fact, look at me. I'm still a toothpick. In fact, you know, one could even say I'm a bit of a phantom now. Ha 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 ha. Seriously, though. Not really. <laughs> Number five. Stop being a lone wolf. It's loco. I know you know, don't know what that means yet, but it's Spanish for crazy and... And it's soon one of your favorite words a couple of years from now, all right? It still is one of your favorite words. It's coming from me, yo. And, but seriously, though, stop being a lone wolf, you know? You are so lonely and so forth. It really just beats down to you that you're just uh, not hanging around with friends and stick to yourself playing on the, alone on the computer games. I've even been that way in college, but just stop doing it. Do yourself a favor. Go out and have a pizza. Go out and socialize with the locals. I know, I know, Richland doesn't have that many locals that you find interesting and so forth. But, hey, David and Daniel will help get you out of your cell, right? <laughs> Number six, ask after yourself as a nerd that you are. Join the dark side. Seriously, we have cookies. <laughs> and you'll just be happier as a nerd, since you already are a nerd, and know that you've been a nerd since second or third grade, so stop denying it already. <laughs> Number seven. There will come a time, time and time again, where you won't want to say what is on your heart say it. Now, I know this part is going to be the hardest thing I've told you so far, and will tell you on this list, but do it. I mean, it's something I even have a hard time with right now. I mean, there's a person I'm really interested in right now, and I'm just having a lot of guts just saying what's really on my heart, and what I really think about her, and I think that if this is something you could start working on since you're from 10 years ago in the past, it would not only help you di now, but it will help you in the future when you are me and and so forth. And I'll keep working on 
over here from my bargain, so don't just be like, yeah, 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 you're just so lazy and so, so forth. You, you're just wanting me to do all the work. I'll put, I'll put my own effort into the work too, okay, bro? Number eight, stop, col start collecting coins again, you know? Yes, I know, I know, you haven't collected coins in so while, so far and so forth, but you really start getting some pretty cool coins in a few, in a few years, and, and as much of a shock as this is going to come, you're going to start collecting points with your father and really enjoy sharing it with them and so forth. So just get back in the habit. Plus, look at it this way. It's a whole lot better than, like, investing in Pokemon cards or Harry Potter cards like you're doing right now and not having anyone to play them with, which connects again to, you know, the whole lone wolf thing. Don't be a lone wolf. Number nine, don't fret about being single. God has lessons for you. This is something I still have trouble with again time to time again, you know. Yes, it hurts being single and so forth, but don't look at it as being single. Just look at it as God has some more work for you to do before you end up meeting that special woman in your life. And think of how much better that relationship will go with God in it, opposed to with God without God in it, you know? I mean, I've been there before. I mean, you don't know her. You, you haven't dated her yet. You haven't met her yet. But it's a whole lot more painful, believe me. And by, and by the way, that person later ends up becoming one of, you, one of your best friends and actually inspires you to end up doing this whole thing in the first place that I'm doing now. So, yeah. Number 10. This is a spoiler but I don't care because I just want to share it with you and they can be like, no! So you like how I've been for like the past 10 years or so. Convince J.K. Rowling to give Sirius Black a noble death. He ends up causing her to fall through a curtain. Yeah, I know, I know. Harry Potter's godfather ends up falling through a curtain and that is how he dies. Lame! Oh, and by the way, uh, Shayna, your punishment is to do the next challenge with a stuffed animal strapped to your head. Go figure, but hey, <laughs> this is the best we can figure out. Anyway, this is Dre, the only member of the Random Chatters that is a guy <laughs> still talking, signing off.